What's up you guys, welcome back to Winter's Reviews. Today I have a LED headlight kit. These ones are specifically fog lamps for my car. They're H11s and I'm gonna be showing you how to install them. Here's a preview of what the car looks like with both new light bulbs installed. These ones are by Zethers is the brand and you can find these on Amazon. I'll show you the listing here real quick. I will leave a link down in the description below if you guys wanna buy these for yourselves. But these are running $35.99, so $36. These are the ones that I have here, but they come in different sizes, different types, and different colors. You see there's amber yellow and cool white. The ones I have here are amber yellow, and they're H11. I'll be installing them on a 2012 Subaru Outback as my fog lamps. So real quick, I'll just go over what is inside the package. $36 for these guys, and it's gonna be an upgrade. At any point in this video, if you guys wanna just skip to the installation, there will be chapters here on the bottom of the screen, and you can just skip to the installation part. But I'm just gonna briefly go through what's inside this package and take a look at the headlights themselves. Here are some of the main features. They have chip temperature control, perfect beam pattern, plug and play, um, 30,000 hour lifespan, and a built-in canvas driver. Inside the box, we have a little user's manual, and that's gonna just show you some of the specs and how to install the headlights. And right here are the headlights themselves, the bulbs, I say headlights, but I mean the bulbs. All right, so that is a good looking piece of equipment right there. You can see we have some metal for cooling here, and then there's a nice rubber seal to keep it waterproof, and there's the LED part. As mentioned before, these are plug and play. All I'm gonna have to do is get inside my car and take the old ones out and plug these back in. So let's go ahead and transition over to that. All right, so I'm here in the garage with my car and I've got the light bulbs right here. I'm gonna be replacing these ones here to each of my sides. These are the fog lamps. And I just wanna say that this installation video it's gonna be different for each vehicle, but I hope that this will give you a good idea of what's necessary in order to replace these bulbs. For this car, it's pretty simple. All I'm gonna need is a flathead screwdriver and maybe a clip popper, but honestly, just a flathead screwdriver will do the job. It was a pretty simple and easy install on the Subaru Outback. Probably would only take you 20 to 30 minutes, depending on your skill, experience, and prior knowledge. If you watch this video and you have the same car, you should be able to knock it out in 15 minutes probably. So what I'm gonna do is I have to access the bulb, which is just down there, and I have to kind of pull out this plastic wheel well, and I'm gonna have to get that out of the way so I can reach my arm back there and get to it. So in order to do that, I have some plastic clips like that that I need to pull out. So I also have some clips to pull out underneath the bumper the, to remove some of this plastic. So I'm just gonna show you as an example. It's the same kind of clip for all of these, but all I have to do is get under that circular part and kind of twist the screwdriver to pry it and it's Definitely more difficult when I have dirt inside. But I'm just going to go around the edges and be very gentle because these do break pretty easily. And if they do break, you can just order some new ones on Amazon as well. But we're just going to separate that. I think I need a little more. And at that point, you can should be able to grip it with your fingers and kind of wiggle it out. And now the clip is out, and you can see kind of how that works. So I'm just going to do that with maybe, I'll probably pull that one out as well. 
and then a couple of the ones in the wheel well one there and there and that should be all I need all right I got the clips out and the wheel turned so now I have space to get in here now there's a plastic lining at the bottom of my bumper here and I'm just gonna kind of pull it down to release it and then get back here and free it from right here so what I did was pull this plastic liner out from the lip of this plastic bumper and you can see now I have access and you can see the bulb inside there so that is just behind this piece of plastic and on the under underside what I did was just pull that down out of the lip as well you can see where the two clips were so when I pull back this flap you can see where the bulb is right there and what I'm gonna do is grab a hold of the back of it and twist to release it it'll only twist one way so you don't have to worry about twisting it the wrong way it shouldn't be too hard to twist and release but now you can see the bulb is free but it's still connected to a wire so you don't want to just yank on it so there's a little clip this red piece is the clip and all you have to do to remove the old one is press on this tab and pull out and that's specifically for these H11s each each different kind of bulb is slightly different but that's the idea just like that that's where it attaches now we'll grab our new bulb all right we've got the new H11 bulb and the old one right next to it as you can see they are the same connections the new one is slightly bulkier but really not by much so this old bulb is a Phillips and it says 55 watts this new one is a 60 watt bulb so it's not a big difference should be fine since it's LED so right here gives you a better view of this wire and the connector since it was hard to see before one thing I want to mention is that inside this connection on your car there's a little see that red gasket there that is going to seal it from water when I pulled out the bulb it pulled out that gasket so just double check and make sure if there's not a gasket in it already then you're probably good but if there is make sure it stays in there and you don't lose it so what you do is just simply plug it in like that make sure the new one snaps in what we can do at this point before installing it and buttoning everything up is I can turn my light on and just check to make sure that this works alright and as you can see it works it's a very cool yellow color so we're gonna go ahead and finish installing it and then I'll show you what this one looks like compared to the stock one on the other side now to get this back in I'm gonna grab a hold of that light again on the back and stick it in that hole and then kind of twist it around until it locks in boom the connectors facing down and it's locked in there now I'm just gonna pop this plastic back into place and then I can put the plastic clips back on and then do the other side the same way we've got the new LED light here on this side you can see it's definitely more yellow than the original one which is right here and as far as brightness it's kind of hard to tell right now it looks like it's a little bit brighter these are pretty sweet guys I'm gonna install the one over here and then we're gonna be testing these out at night and see how they look here's what the car looks like with the fog lights turned off and here's what it looks like with the fog lights on if you think this looks sweet and you also have a Subaru Outback I made a video on this top LED strip on how to install that and wire it into your car that one can be installed on any cars so if you're interested in that go to my channel to see that video this is with the fog lights turned off but take note of how much it lights up in front of the vehicle 
and this is with the fog lights turned on so as you can see that's a very big difference and you can see much better in front of the vehicle all these little green plants that you can tell are green but when the light is off it's definitely harder to tell now let's see what it looks like on the front it's definitely an acquired look having the amber yellow color lights now I'm just gonna do a quick view from a bit further back with the fog lights on and now with them off big difference guys all right now I'm gonna show from a driver's perspective this is without the fog lights with my low beams and three two one those are with the fog lights turned on off on well guys that is going to wrap it up for this video if there's any other questions you have leave them in the comments below and i don't know if i said this before but i will leave a link down in the description to these headlight bulbs on amazon so you can grab some for yourself i hope it helped you and if it did give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more thank you all so much for watching and as always i will see you next time